happening also to those of you that are coming in on Facebook Live. This is the day that the Lord has made, and we shall rejoice in it and be glad. We want to say good morning also to those of you that are coming in by way of Facebook Live, whose names that we cannot see, but we welcome you on this awesome morning with other intercessors to seek the face of God and to hear what God is saying unto us this morning. Praise the Lord and good morning, Pastor Sharon. Good morning, Sister Teresa. Good morning, Sister Lisa, Sister Robin, Sister Tanya. Good morning, Sister Kia. Good morning, Sister Janice, Sister Kimberly. Good morning. Good morning, Sister Steph. Good morning, Sister Monica. Good morning, Sister Donna, Sister Deborah. Good morning, Sister Magna. Sister Hattie, good morning. God bless you. Good morning, Mother Nancy. Good morning, Sister Jeanette. Good morning, Sister Donna. Mother Bowers, good morning. Good morning, Lady Susan. Good morning, Sister Shirley. Praise the Lord, Sister Nona, and good morning. Good morning, Sister Trina. Sister Lisa, Sister Cynthia. Sister Cherry, good morning. Sister Marietta, Sister Teresa. Sister Kendall. Good morning. Good morning, Sister Janice. Good morning, Sister Patty. Sister Crystal. Brother Kenneth, good morning. Good morning, Sister Paulette. Sister Veronica. Sister Lorraine. Sister Dewana, good morning and praise the Lord. Good morning, Sister Estelle. Good morning, Brother Adrian. Good morning, Sister Carol. Sister Mary. Sister Ada. Sister Janice. And good morning to those of you that are still coming in on the prayer line. Good morning, Sister Catherine. Good morning, Sister Shelley, Sister Janine, Sister Mary, Sister Jackie, Sister Cecilia. Good morning. Good morning, Sister Jenny, Sister Kim, Sister Tanya. Good morning. Good morning, Sister Tanya. Another Sister Tanya. Good morning, Sister Teresa, and praise the Lord. Good morning, Sister Sarah. Good morning. Good morning, um, Elder Gary. Good morning. Good morning, Sister Tammy. Good morning, Sister Erica, Sister Mary, Dr. Hampton. Good morning. Good morning, Sister Evelyn, Sister Lisa, Mother McCroy, Sister Doris, Sister Terrellian. Good morning. Good morning, Sister Wilhelmina, Sister Monica. Good morning. Good morning, Sister Roxanne. God bless you. Good morning. Good morning, Sister Deborah. Good morning, Sister Patricia. Good morning. I'm going to ask those of you that are coming in by way of Facebook Live. Good morning, Sister Roxanne. If you'll do me a favor and push the share button, if you will push the share button so that your community, community can join you in prayer and in devotion this morning. Good morning, Sister Giovanna. Sister Marva, good morning. Good morning, Sister Melissa. Sister Jean. Sister Cassandra. Sister Wanda. Sister Nicole. Good morning, good morning. Good morning, Sister Belinda, Sister Tabitha, Sister Sherry, good morning. God bless you. Yes, it, and those of you that are on the prayer line, good morning, Sister Rhonda, praise the Lord. Good morning, Sister Denise. Those of you that are on the prayer line, you can also text your community and let them know that we are already in the process of beginning to hear the word of God and to pray. Good morning, Sister Shirley. Sister Arenda, good morning. Good morning, good morning. Again, those of you that are on Facebook Live, if you could push the share button. Our guest is going to come on with us in a moment to share with us from the word and also to lead us in prayer. Praise the Lord and good morning, Sister Belina. Let's make ourselves a committee of one to make sure that everybody in our personal community starts their day off with a word of prayer and devotion. Good morning, Sister Gigi. Good morning, Sister Buffy. I want to make sure that all of you that are on Facebook Live keep this before you, and that is that if for any reason we experience some kind of technical difficulty, please go over to the prayer line at 917-900-1022. Access code 8923928. Good morning, my mother, Lady Ruth Tyson Newton. Good morning. I'm inviting you to join me on Saturday mornings, all of you, at 5 a.m. Eastern Time for Early Rising Bread. 
You can join me on Facebook and on the prayer line. And if you miss a prayer or a teaching, you can also go to YouTube, Krista Tyson Ministries, and we have begun to place things there. Good morning, Sister Elaine, Sister Shalanda, Sister Ida, Sister June, my sister, Pastor Steph, good morning. For those of you that are on Facebook Live, if you would like to strategically intercede with your hands and fingers in this hour to command, direct, and prophesy into your morning and the mornings of others for positive outcomes based upon the word of God, you're welcome to do so by positioning yourselves as you're coming in, sharing in the comment box the word of the Lord, and also praying in the comment box along with the other intercessors and other God seekers. Good morning, sister. Uh, good morning, brother Stanford. Good morning. Good morning, sister Kathy. The word of the Lord declares that death and life are in the power of the tongue and they that love it shall eat the fruit thereof. So we declare what the Bible says, and that is that I will make my prayer unto God and he will hear me. And this is the confidence that we have in him, that if we ask anything according to his will, he heareth us. And then if we know that he hear us, whatsoever we ask, we know that we have the petitions that we desired of him. I'm getting ready to bring in our guest devotionalist this morning. And I want you to also begin to share, also begin to share in the comment box, the words that he will speak unto us this morning. As many of you know, our guest devotionalist and prayer list and prayer leader is Dr. Lamont Turner. Praise the Lord and good morning, Dr. Turner. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I was just getting ready to introduce you to our guest on this morning and let me do that. So I want to, I want to, um, those of you that are on the prayer line and those of you that are on Facebook Live, I want to make sure that you're in a position where you can hear clearly, clearly what the Lord is saying unto us this morning. Our guest devotionalist and prayer leader is Dr. Lamont Turner. Dr. Lamont Turner is the pastor of Zion Temple Church in Edgewood, Maryland. And I also, because I know the word that he is getting ready to share with us this morning, I know that it's going to speak directly to you. So I want to present to you also his cash app. So we are able to sow into his cash app. That is dollar sign D-R-L-L Turner one. That is dollar sign D-R-L-L Turner one. I want you to hear God this morning before he leads us into a time of prayer and intercession. At this time, I present to you Pastor Dr. Lamont Turner. God bless you, Dr. Turner. Bless you. Uh, God bless each of you. It is my uh, pleasure to be able to uh, come on uh, today. And uh, uh, Pastor Tyson, thank you for sharing, uh, allowing us to share uh, with you all on today. Um, you were, uh, last week, you were an absolute blessing to, uh, to our church. And uh, so thank you for, for sharing. And, um, I'm honored to be able to uh, be a part of this uh, session on, on today. Well, uh, those who are, uh, as you're listening, God is doing um, some amazing in, in this hour. Um, and he's using things like uh, the, uh, the pandemic to get the attention of, of his people. And one thing we, we, we discover about God is that the, whatever he does, God doesn't waste anything. And that's the most incredible thing is that nothing is ever, ever, ever wasted. He, he takes whatever goes on and he uses it to uh, propel or to, to aid or to assist uh, the next thing in life. He, he does this on the, uh, the constructs of uh, what we understand to be time. Uh, the first thing that God does is in, in creation, before he created uh, the, the uh, trees or vegetation, uh, before there was um, plants or animals, any of those things, uh, God created time. So just one, 
verse 3, uh, God says uh, let there be light. And, and there was light, obviously. Uh, when God divided light from the darkness, God called the light day, the, the darkness he called night. And the, and the evening and the morning were uh, the first uh, day. That word day uh, is yom, which means it's a little 24-hour day. It's extraordinary to me because you have a, a timeless God who has a timeless presence. Uh, we could just park there and talk about the timeless presence of God, uh, of how his... His presence knows no time, uh, so therefore his presence knows no age. Uh, the, the timeless presence of God will be with you wherever you are, <laughs> regardless of, of time or eternity. Uh, so when Jesus says to you that uh, I'm with you always <laughs> to the end of the world, well, he, can, he can be back set up by his timeless presence. Uh, now, he being uh, the, the timeless one, and having a timeless presence, he, uh, uh, whatever he does, uh, in order to be the interact with man, say, he has to uh, create time because he established uh, time first in creation and then put man uh, in the same time that, that he created. So, so, Man is uh, functional uh, in time. Uh, man is uh, purposed in time. Uh, man is destined uh, in time. So uh, everything that man does uh, now, especially, not until um, the Lord transitions into eternity, everything that we do is regulated uh, to time. Um, our, our ministry uh, takes time. Uh, our family life uh, it takes time. Uh, everything that, that we do in life uh, is uh, uh, regulated in time. So when when the, the Lord says, uh, "I got to take you through the process," well, the, your process takes time. You're not you're not going to just get there. It takes time. Yes. We've been we've been sowing. Um, the whole process of the reciprocity, whatever you sow, you should reap. It takes time. So you're not going to use yourself. It's really interesting to me. Unless God puts acceleration upon something, uh, you sow a seed. The seed takes time. Whether it's a seasonal seed or a residual seed, it's going to take time. And the only way for man to leap ahead in something is for God to put acceleration upon each one of us or any of us to, and, and acceleration is in, in physics it's the increase of speed uh, per second per second per second per second uh, so he he will allow something to uh, uh, move faster or I should say uh, will come into manifestation quicker uh, when he puts acceleration on, on that thing uh, otherwise what he does, uh, you can keep, you can move through time and maintain the same speed. Uh, here's an interesting fact uh, from physics: uh, you can drive at a speed of, of 70 miles per hour, and you can maintain uh, that speed at 70 miles an hour for 15 minutes straight, 30 minutes straight, whatever the time it is, and you're you're holding at that speed. And uh, if you're not moving um, 71, 72, or if you are decelerating, going 69, 68, 67, if you maintain 70 miles per hour, uh, that's velocity. Physics teaches us that uh, velocity is, is a it's a movement of of a object, a sustained movement of that object. But it's uh, zero uh, acceleration because the, although it is moving and sustained, uh, it's not increasing in speed. Uh, sounds a little interesting, perhaps a little complicated for uh, five o'clock in the morning. But he here's the thing: um, a car moving at 70 miles an hour for 15 minutes straight, an hour straight, 
is no different than a parked car in relation to physics. Because the parked car is uh, zero acceleration, the velocity at 7 miles an hour is zero acceleration. Acceleration is rated by the increase of speed per second, per second, per second, per second. Thank you, Jesus. So when God puts something on you, you and I, glory to God, you can become stagnated. You can become stagnated thinking that you, and although you're moving and, you're, you're, and you feel like, well, I'm, I'm still moving, but nothing's happening. It's because you're stuck in a velocity of um, a constant movement, but never any progression in that movement as in going any faster. So you're stagnated just like the parked car. When God does something in time, when he wants to, to push something forward, he's going to increase you. And it's, it's going to feel like it's getting more rapid and coming more quickly because you're in that season of acceleration. I just to, to share that because I kind of feel it really strongly right now, that God is going to put you in a moment of acceleration. Be ready to brace yourself because it's going to come quick. Things are going to keep coming faster and faster. Mm. He has to push you out of a rut uh, to take you into where he needs you to be. <laughs> the same thing he did with Israel when he was going to take them over uh, the Red Sea. He calls a, uh, an east wind to come, uh, and that, that east wind, which we know was now a nor'easter, as it came in, it, it increased in speed so much so that he had to push Israel over uh, the Red Sea because he knew that as long as they were walking at their pace, Mm -hmm. <laughs> they were never going to really get anywhere. Uh, and the Egyptians would catch up with them, so he had to push them on through. God's going to take what you're doing uh, in time, and uh, you, the, the pace is going to in increase rapidly in order for you to actually move into where he needs you uh, to be. Time for us is the essential function uh, for our purpose and our destiny. Uh, God has uh, functionary stations in, in time in order to produce. So for, for mankind, time is that functionary station. It's an essential function for each one of us to be able to uh, propel into where we're supposed to be, uh, move into our purpose, move into uh, our destiny. You will not move into your purpose without time. Uh, you're not going to uh, walk into your destiny uh, without uh, time. <laughs> and uh, as the, the, the cedars, of, of the Bible says, the cedars of, of Lebanon, uh, as they were established, uh, those cedar trees, uh, it, t it took time, years before it ever uh, produced, glory to God. And just because uh, you're, you're planted and you're growing, doesn't mean that God is not allowing the, the fruit to come. It comes, obviously, uh, in time. The, the beauty of this is for trees, cedar trees, the, the great mighty oaks, uh, the longer it takes for them to uh, process through their growth, uh, the, the longer the establishment uh, of um, their area, etc. So I'm tempted to say this to you. When it, whenever God is working something in you, the, the longer it takes for God to do it in you, and as long as God is doing it and you're not stuck in, in a zero acceleration, the longer it takes for God to do it in you in time is the greater your purpose and your destiny is going to be. You just got to understand uh, it's, it's taking time uh, uh, for you, taking the time for you to actually move into where you're, you're, you're supposed to be. Time is the essential functionary station of purpose and for uh, destiny. Uh, rejoice while God is al allowing you to move through, through time. Mm -hmm. Absorb all the, the, the entirety of, of the process. Never judge, glory, never judge your time <laughs> by somebody else's uh, yes. time because uh, God is, again, he, he's, he's not into uh, wasting time. Uh, God uses everything, even our failures, because he doesn't waste a thing. He uses uh, uh, everything uh, for purpose, for destiny. Uh, here's my, my, my last one before we, we get into uh, to, to prayer. 
Isaiah talks about uh, the uh, arrows in, in the quiver of, of God. And uh, the Lord was, was kind of just kind of dealing with me on, on uh, with this. It's just really about uh, archery uh, and the preparation that goes into uh, the arrow before the archer can, can shoot that arrow. Um, most of us, because of our, our um, modernization, we, we bypass the process of the actual arrow, and we're looking at the um, uh, aluminum arrows that we have today, plastic, and we're, we're seeing all those, and we're, we're not considering that the arrow that uh, Isaiah was speaking of was made from, from wood. Uh, so they literally would take a branch, mm -hmm. um, and uh, after taking that branch, cut, cut it off. They would have to uh, winnow the branch. Remember, this is time, because it, it takes time to create the arrow. So they uh, lop off the branch, winnow uh, the bark from uh, the branch, uh, but because it, didn't, it has knots, so they're going to have to uh, sand uh, the, the knots down. Uh, and if you've ever seen uh, a branch on a tree, I I'm, I have never seen a straight branch. I don't know what about you all, mm -hmm. but I've never seen a straight branch. They're always crooked, and they're always knotted. So the uh, in the process, uh, they have to winnow it off with a knife. So it, there is the it it takes time to do that. It is uh, for the branch. Uh, imagine if you're that branch, it's painful when you do it. Uh, then they've got to sand it down using different grades of sandpaper, coarse, and then uh, moving in the fire. Once that is done, <laughs> they uh, take the branch, dip it in water uh, to, uh, for it to soak up um, uh, the water or, or the water is saturated into it. Only to take that branch and, and put it into a, a board for straightening. So it, it now, which was crooked, now becomes uh, straight, and it takes time, glory to God. It takes time for it to straighten. Mm -hmm. uh, it takes uh, time for it, it to, to um, uh, bend into now what is uh, 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 straight enough for it to be aerodynamic. Once that's done, they, and it's, it's straight enough for it to, to, uh, to shoot, they will once again sand it down, uh, and after the sanding, um, they'll polish it. Once the, uh, they'll put some uh, you know, lacquer on it, polish it, and uh, you'd think that you'd think that once the the, the tip goes on and the end, it, it's ready to go. But uh, Isaiah says the Lord takes us and He puts us in His quiver. Glory to God. Hmm. Now, that means this, that after all all the, the winnowing and the sanding and the straightening, after all that, you go into a quiver to, but only to wait, mm. you know, uh, uh, only to be to be held there for, for a moment. And here's the point. Um, Isaiah shows that if you're an arrow in the quiver of God, whenever God shoots you out, out, out of the, the bow, uh, God's into accuracy. Glory yes. to God. <laughs> He's into accuracy. Uh, so if he's, if he's going to shoot you from his quiver, uh, he's going to hit the target the first time. He's not uh, taking target practice. He's going to shoot the first time. So the longer the process, uh, the greater the pullback from the bow. Because once it gets uh, out of the quiver and goes into the bow, the archer has to pull, draw the bow back. The longer, the more he draws it back, the greater force is going to come out, out of it. It's going to increase with that that uh, uh, speed of acceleration increasing per second per second only to hit the target. Uh, saying to God, understand that what God is doing in uh, our, our lives is it, a function in time so that we can move into purpose and move into destiny. Don't be frustrated. <laughs> Don't be frustrated by the process. 2020 hallelujah, was not a waste of time. Yes. you got to get that. 2020 was not a waste of time. God has made you in 2020. If you, if you really see this, what God's been doing, he's been shaping you like the arrow. Yes. Uh, he's been molding you like, like the arrow. He's been winnowing you uh, like the arrow. Uh, prepare, because if you're taking the time to prepare in this hour, 
where God has uh, been shaping you, sanding you, uh, making you, taking you through saturation, only to polish you, to put you in this queer room. When you come out in 2021, glory to God, there is going to be a a manifestation of ministry uh, and purpose uh, and destiny that God's going to, going to birth up from that. And, and we're watching it right now. Let, let me say this to you. There is a movement now in Christianity that is mesmerizing uh, for those who have don't have roots in God. Um, the new age, the new age movement is mixing into Christianity, where people are uh, believing or they're looking for these lights, so using the crystals, all of that, trying to discover an energy. It's for the everyone keeps talking about. I need, uh, I need that energy, that, that positive vibe. Now, uh, to it sounds nice, but if you're actually hearing what's being said, they're trying to draw on, on an energy. Uh, to move forward, they need that, that vibe, um, and so many of them are novice Christians, ones who don't take the time to know God. They're experiencing in, in this, and the adversary is using the base of Christianity to actually perform this, saying to God, uh, "It's going to take for you to have moments like this with God to create a sense of discernment. It takes. It's going to take time to do that. When you know the the normality of of God." Then when things pop up, you'll go, well, wait a minute, no, that, that's not it. That's, that's not the way God wants us to do. Now, I'm saying it to say this. We've watched this in the past two weeks or so, uh, several of the people coming in to, to get saved who were into uh, the New Age movement. Just last night, we baptized a person uh, who was into the uh, New Age uh, uh, crystal by the Bible study. And uh, I've been sharing, talking to the individual before, and they want to know about the love of God, and, and God just did something, broke it very powerfully, uh, but that didn't happen o- overnight for me. <laughs> I had to take time to learn about the normalcy of God, so then when uh, someone brought something up, I, I would know, no, wait a minute, uh, it, it, sounds, it sounds very close to what Christians are talking about, but that's not it. Uh, thanks to God, time is your functionary uh, purpose or your functionary uh, essential function for destiny and for uh, your purpose. Know that God's taking you through this moment right now to ground you because something extraordinary uh, is breaking forth. You're going to need glory. You're going to need this, this moment. You're going to need 2020 to endure what's breaking forth in 2021. Mm. Uh, we're moving into the November, November the 3rd to elect a president, and the reality is with whomever wins, whomever wins, we're going to see civil unrest with whomever wins. Mm. And so uh, the saints have to have have had prepared themselves for with moments like this uh, to be ready for uh, the, the kickback that's going to come from uh, this election to brace itself uh, for the uh, civil unrest that's coming. Uh, and if, if you ever take the patterns of Scripture, you, whenever there was a great revival, it's because there was unrest with the people. Mm. And uh, that means re- revival's coming. Maybe what God did for you this year was give you a chance to go through the process of, of developing and resting so he can prepare you for the mighty thrust of revival that's coming uh, in the next year. And I'm excited about it, and I pray that you will you grab a hold of this. Know that uh, God is moving you into a moment of acceleration. And I feel it really strongly right now, so I want to pray with you. Yes. Uh, there's some things you've been, you've been uh, doing, some things you've been holding on to, some things you've been waiting on. There have been some seeds. Thank you, Father, I see it. There are some seeds that have been buried but have not yet been activated. And what the Father's going to do, like when when he saturates the arrow, he saturates the the, the seed. Seeds need that that saturation in order for it to move into uh, its germination. So I'm going to pray right now. Father, I thank you for what you're doing praise you for this, the, this, this divine moment. Uh, I thank you, Lord, for this, this fourth watch, glory to God, 
uh, and how you construct time. And, and each of your watches got have have purpose. So so since this is the, the hour where we order the day, uh, since it's the hour where, where we instruct the day, since it's just the moment of the watch where we command the morning, glory to God. Father, I pray in the name of the Lord Jesus that everyone who's on this call right now, uh, and they've got seeds in the ground, hallelujah. God, every person who is in this moment right now, and their, their business, their, their family, their, their ministry is set in order for uh, them to propel forward. I pray in the name of, of the Lord Jesus that now, Father, you'll take them to the process, uh, in obviously, Lord, in, in time where you begin to push on them. So with a the force that comes from you, that moves them out of Gamando Koshe, moves them that out of the stagnation into acceleration. May glory in the name of the Lord Jesus. May stagnation right now, may it be broken off of their life. By glory to God. May they move into acceleration, God, in that rapid process. May it brace them, God, for that, that, that moment. God, mentally, glory. Mentally prepare them, God, for the, the how rapid it is going to be. Now I know you, so everything that you you do is purposeful. You waste nothing. And so I thank you, God, for every moment that has transpired and what you're about to break forth in your life. May that seed, may it uh, activate today, activating uh, blessings and promises that were have been uh, laden, anointings, revelation insight, a purpose, identity, may that now, may it, may it accelerate in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. May that ministry spring forth, God, uh, and may it last, God, uh, throughout the time of, of their purpose and their destiny, not wavering, not wilting, producing the fruit at the proper time and season. Thank you, Father, uh, for that. Now we command this morning. Uh, and in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, not a day of this, not a moment of this day will be wasted. You will today uh, enjoy the peace of God, the, the uh, blessings of God, the grace of God. You're going to be more focused today uh, than you had in the, la the last week and even yesterday. You're going to see greater clarity uh, through this today because God has now encountered you with a moment in time to reveal himself to you in all of these mornings that you've been gathering for prayer. God's collecting all those things to bring you into this moment of purpose and destiny. I speak over your life in the name of the Lord Jesus, the blessings of God, blessings that make rich and add no sorrow. God is clearing the way for you in the name of the Lord Jesus. Thank you, Father. He's clearing the way for you to be in the walk in uh, that thing, your your skill, your ability, your leadership is being honed uh, right now to walk into what you're supposed to be. Father, I praise you for what you're doing now. God, for every listener who has who knows someone, family member, friend, neighbor who's in that new age movement now, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, glory. Since Lord, they're, they're, they're trying to find light. Your light is greater. Thank you, God, for the greater light that you are. In the name of Jesus Christ, we command that whatever that, that is on them, that, that spirit, that in Jesus' name, we command that now. You must go. It is not for negotiation. It is, we're, we're not going to debate about it. Every high-ranking devil, low-ranking devil, you must go and not return in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. We command that son, that daughter, in Jesus' name, you're free by the power of the Most High God, you will you will come to your senses. You will give your life to Christ. Uh, you will be a, a testament uh, for all of your friends. While the revival breaks forth, and you're going to bring them all in. Father, I thank you for your word. No God, this is real. I pray now, Lord, uh, for our, our moderator. I pray your choice blessings, God, upon Pastor Tyson. 
You see her years of faithfulness and commitment to you, her steadfastness, God. I thank you, God, for just the oil anointing that's on her life and what you're doing in her. Now, God, um, uh, I know for sure this is uh, her time. Glory. And so, Father, work out of her. Thank you. What you work in her, God, so that now she, she functions. God, and, and she begins to demonstrate the purpose and the destiny that has been rooted in her for years. I praise you, God, for what you're doing. We rejoice, God, today. Uh, we came in now in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you so much, Dr. Turner. Thank you so much for the words that you have shared with us. And thank you so much for leading us into a, a time of prayer. I see by the comments that have been made that God is speaking to his people. They are encouraged by the words that have been shared. Even those that are on the prayer line, I see that that prayer, that those that are coming in on the prayer line have increased just to hear the word of God. And this was the time for us to hear about time and the seed that God has within us that we have planted in the ground. I pray that may God bless and may God keep you I want to pray for, I want uh, us to pray for Dr. Turner, those of you that are on Facebook Live and even on the prayer line. We're going to pray just a moment for Dr. Turner before we release him. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you. Hallelujah. I thank you for this man of God. I thank you for the download, dear God, that you have put in him. A download that you put in him from childhood up to this very point. I thank you, dear God, because your hand is upon his life. Your hand is upon his ministry. Your hand is upon the church. I thank you, dear God, for the clarity in which he speaks the word of God, in which he shares, God, what you have put within him. I thank you, dear God, because everything that his hand has touched, God, you will multiply it. You will expand it in the name of Jesus. Father, I thank you because not only are you blessing him in his ministry, you're blessing him in his mind, you're blessing him to expand, but God, you're blessing in his body from the top of his head to the sole of his feet. I thank you, dear God, what you're doing in his life. God, this is not by accident, but it is by purpose. Hallelujah. It is by purpose, dear God, what you're doing in him. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you for this year 2020 that you have allowed him to see. And God, you have planted some things in him that have not yet been fulfilled. But God, you're getting ready to fulfill them. You're getting ready to bring them to pass. God, some promises that you have made to him. God, you're getting ready to bring those to pass. And God, we give you praise. Father, in the name of Jesus, we're so grateful to be connected with this man of God in this season. Now, Father, in the name of Jesus, I ask you that today, today may be the best day that he has had so far. And Father, I give your name the praise and I give you glory. Ah, God, I ask you in the name of Jesus that you would expand him even financially in the name of Jesus. Bless him above and beyond what he could even imagine or that he can even think because you're that kind of God and for this dear God we give your name the praise for this dear God we give your name the glory and we declare and decree that it is done in the name of Jesus in Jesus name amen and amen thank you so much Dr. Turner may the peace of God that passes all understanding keep your heart and your mind through Christ Jesus in Jesus name I'm going to ask those of you that are on the prayer line and those of you that are on Facebook live once again sowing into I'm going to sow I don't I, I, I know that you are I'm getting ready to sow because this was an awesome word to me sow it at cash app dollar sign D R L L Turner one dollar sign D R L L Turner one thank you so much Dr. Turner and we look forward to hearing from you again soon God bless you. Thank, thank you for having me. I, I thoroughly enjoyed this. Yes, sir. Have a good day. You too. 
I pray that those of you that are on Facebook Live and those of you that are on the prayer line, I pray that this day your life will bring, uh, uh, or by the word that you have heard today, it brings more understanding to what you have been going through and what you have dealt with in 2020. And know this, your seed is in the ground and God is going to bring forth a harvest. May you have an awesome day today. May the peace of God also that passes all understanding keep your hearts and your mind through Christ Jesus. May this be the best day so far and the rest for the...